Kansas City Chiefs, only team I trust in the AFC. They are the only team I trust, really the only team I believe in out of the AFC heading towards the postseason. Even though they're currently right now the three seed, even though, as we know, the offense has had well-documented struggles for, I don't know, about, what, three quarters of the year, roughly? Right, it's been a slog for most of the year for Patrick Holmes and Andy Reid and co. This is still, even though they're a three seed right now, I think still the team to beat in the AFC. I think Sunday showed you two reasons why. Number one, the offense can absolutely still light it up. And number two, how about this? The defense can be relied upon. Let's start with that second point first. Because even now, right, we're coming off a game yesterday in which the Chiefs won 48-9. to Coming off a game which, again, the, the Chiefs were two points, you know, a safety short of putting a 50-burger on Las Vegas. I thought the story of the game was the defense. Story of yesterday's game coming out of, the, out of Arrowhead was absolutely the dominance of the defense. They held a high-flying Raiders offense with just nine points uh, for the game, and they forced a ton of turnovers. Picked Derek Carr off one time, forced four other fumbles. Now, some of that you could say, look, that's just one good game. Right? How sustainable is forcing five turnovers and you know getting a scoop and score on the first play of the game from scrimmage to get a 7 nothing lead right away? Right? Like, you know, the, the, the Raiders are literally playing from behind from the first play of the game. But with that said, though, don't look now. That Chiefs defense truly has turned a corner, and now it's not an anomaly. Now it's not a two- or three-game sample. We're like, oh, okay, the Chiefs defense is playing better, but look at the competition. Or, oh, it's just in a small sample size. The Chiefs defense has legitimately improved to the point where they have, you can make the argument, carried this Chiefs team more than not this season. In the six-game winning streak outside of the two Raiders games, the defense has been the story. They're swarming the football more. They're getting after the quarterback. They had four sacks on Derek Carr yesterday alone. So after what was, I mean, and historically, right, bad first half of the season, where their numbers were trending towards some of the worst defense played in, in all the NFL, you know, in history, right? They were horrendous in the first half of the year. That led to what? Patrick Holmes pressing, right? He admitted earlier this year, was it either heading into the Titans game or coming out of the Titans game, lost 27 to three, that he was trying too, you know, too hard to do too much because in part, because he felt the defense, you know, he didn't say it, but kind of felt like, you know, the defense isn't going to get a stop. So we got to score here no matter what. Because if we don't, I don't know, the next time I get on the field, the deficit's going to be greater than what it is right now. The defense cannot be trusted to stop a nosebleed. That led to the offense trying to do too much. That led to Patrick Holmes forcing throws he shouldn't have been forcing, throws the interceptions, fumbles, sacks. We know, you know, it was kind of just one big spiral effect for the Chiefs, and that kind of led to their horrendous play. But the last six weeks, this defense has been the catalyst to a turnaround, and it's the reason why, again, I'm believing in the Chiefs as the team still to beat in the AFC. If you look now during the six-game winning streak that they're on, in all six games, their opponents have been held to under 20 points in each and every single game. The Giants, of course. <laughs> the Giants in this stretch were the team that scored the most points. It was 17. The last, not, uh, the last three games, each opponent has been held to nine points. Two of those you know, have solid offenses. The Raiders, we saw yesterday, and the Cowboys a few weeks ago. I don't care that Mark Cooper was in the lineup. That's still a high-flying uh, Cowboys offense. And the Chiefs even held them to just nine points. That's a really efficient, a really solid job by Kansas City. But now there's some tangible, though, outcomes we could point to and say, oh, yeah, they're turning it around. Right? The pass rush for the Chiefs has, has increased. They finally figured out what to do with Chris Jones. They had him on the outside for, to start the year. Now they're putting him back inside a little bit more often. He's, you know, wreaking havoc. Guys are getting after the quarterback. Now, during the six-game winning streak that Kansas City has, they have registered 16 sacks in that stretch. They're getting more pressure on the quarterback. They're forcing chaos up the middle. They're forcing bad decisions. And that's leading to bigger plays. That's leading to their third down defense getting off the field. They've been tremendous on third down. So now they're, you know, they're, they're forcing defenses or offenses to get off the field. They're putting their offense on the field more often, taking the strain, taking the pressure off of Patrick Holmes on the offense. Chiefs have done a, a tremendous job. 